from Dom. I sure hope I get to catch a lot today. I got nicer and early so I could, should be able to get a catch. Hi, Riley. Shh, you might scare him away. Sorry, what are you up to? Well, I'm not playing checkers. What does it look like? I'm fishing. Well, I was just wondering because, um, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no water down there. No water? Yeah, so unless you're trying to catch dead fish, you'd better try somewhere else. Who said anything about catching fish? I'm doing what the Bible says. I'm fishing for men, Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I'm going and I'm fishing. Riley, you don't understand. You don't fish for men with a fishing pole. Do you have a better idea? Well, first of all, the worm has got to go. Don't say that so loud. You'll hurt Harry's feelings. Your worm's name is Harry? You guessed it. Well, no offense, but you just don't need a worm. Did you hear that, Harry? That gets you off the hook. Riley, the bait you should be using is the Bible. The Word of God is the only thing that can catch people for Jesus. But I don't know if you, if I can get my Bible to stay on the hook. <laughs> no, Riley. You don't use a fishing pole or a hook at all. When Jesus told his disciples to be fishers of men, he meant they should tell others about him, that he was their Savior. Well, how do I do that? Tell other people that Jesus died on the cross for their sins and that he rose again, that they may have eternal life. As people hear of Jesus' love, they are caught into his happy family. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go get our feet wet and fish for men the right way. Exactly, Riley. Have any of you ever fished for men? <laughs>